Well, we're back, huh? <laughs> we're back at the Nine Club. Today, listen, we got a special guest today. We got Braden Safransky is in the house. What's up, dude? Same shit, different day. That's right. Killing the that's game. That's right. That's right. I'm surprised you have a shirt on today. Yeah, I mean, kind you decided of. to get dressed up for us, <laughs> huh? Two buttons on there. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, yeah, you 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 were a pretty uh, fashion. I'm not fashion, but you just kind of go with the flow, right? You just wear whatever. Uh, I because I I don't think about what I get when I get dressed in the morning. Yeah, I just throw shit on and Chris I, I'm, out, I'm out the door. Every day. I yeah, wear the same much. shit. <laughs> Chris actually wears you know. two shirts no matter how hot it is yeah. in the middle of summer in the warehouse. He always has yeah. a long sleeve on with another shirt on yeah. over it. I love it though. Long That's not like my shit though. You know, I'm skinny so I need to like hide. I get that. I need to hide, this is so. my shit. Whatever yeah. I want. <laughs> I lo- but I love that though. You know, I wish I could just throw on what I, you know. Should we change outfits right now? Should we just see what happens? I would love yeah, to see what shirt. would happen yes. if, I, if I just put on a yeah. Braden shirt. I can imagine yeah. him just flowing just so easily. I don't, everything. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So what? So um, let's 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 bring it back to Vegas, right? You're born and raised Vegas. Yes, sir. Yeah. When did you pick up a board? I mean, I picked up a board when I was like eight or something like oh that. yeah and then okay. cracked my dome open that day <laughs> same day <laughs> yeah yeah what were your parents like this is it you're well, like, no, we're I taking away this board. No, it, was, it was an old school board and there was two i set up i don't know two bricks with the two by four and the off the curb mm-hmm. and i tried to hippie jump it and it landed back on the board and slipped out oh yeah and oh. i just remember standing back up and going and blood was coming all down and i just started walking over and there was a babysitter there oh and she Fucking freaked out. <laughs> did she call nine one one or did you? Did she she take my parents. Oh, you me to the hospital. Okay. I ended up getting like right. sixteen staples or stitches. Jesus. Or like I remember I was a kid. Jesus. Then I didn't pick up. Sure, you're not confusing until... that with the Hollywood high slam. Yeah, dude, I was gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> it's fucked up because I've only hit my head three times in skating, and okay. that was only... one at twelve, and then Hollywood high twelve. I mean, and then Hollywood sixteen. What That's were you it. trying on the Hollywood twelve and sixteen? This is skateboarding, kickflip front board. Yeah, cracked mm-hmm. the dome pretty damn good. Mm. That was knocked out cold, pretty much. Uh, knocked out. No, I mean like, I remember hitting my head and just looked up at Atiba and all them. They're like, "Dude, you're fucked." And I remember going like, "No, I'm fine. I got it. Next try." And oh. they're like, and they're like, "No, you don't." <laughs> <laughs> and then that's when I looked down and seen the big blood puddle. And then I got in the car. Yeah. And I was fine. And then all of a sudden, halfway to the hospital, Ellington was driving me, and I remember. Just looking out the window, and I looked over him, and I was like, "Yeah, I can't see you." No way. Yeah, and that's when I just went you unconscious. Were out. Yeah. Whoa. Damn. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, that must have been scary for them too. Oh, I sure. mean, Jesus. You it got... was even more worse when I got back to the hospital right. a week later to get the staples out, and the doctors and everybody are like, oh, "You." And I'm like, "What do you mean, me?" And they're like, "Oh my God, you don't even know. Like, you were throwing up, screaming at the top of your lungs. You were out of control." I'm like, "Wow." Don't remember any of that. I remember so, I smacked my head when I was a kid, and uh, they brought me to the hospital. I was like yelling at the fucking doctor, like, "You just want my parents' money? No get way. the fuck away from me! You just want my parents' money?" I feel like Roger would say something. Uh, yeah, like that. yeah, probably. <laughs> But uh, what, what what about the Hollywood 16? Was the same what no, what trick were you trying? I uh, back 180 it. Oh. I uh, I don't remember. This would have must have been 2002 or something okay. like that. I landed, broke my board and my truck in half. Right. And then I grabbed Terry Kennedy's board, okay. broke his board and truck in half. Wow. Jeez. Grabbed somebody else's board, broke his board and truck in half. It was <laughs> like back to back to back to back. Yeah, back. Yeah. Really? And then the f- fourth board. I remember I landed it and skirted a 180 and then rode away and okay. I was like, okay, I got next one. Next one, right. Landed, broke the board, smacked my head. Oh, and I was God. like, uh, everything but, in the world was telling you not to. Yeah. You know, that thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've ever broken a truck in my life. I, you know, only broke three, maybe a few in my life, but three, three in one in that, session. Dude, that's, <laughs> that's gnarly. gnarly. Yeah, I felt bad too because you know that was back in the era when nobody fucking got free trucks and everything. Right, I mean, they did, but it was like. <gasps> Yeah, you're a oh, yeah. trucks. You, like, yeah, your they trucks got like one everything. pair. Yeah. Right. So you were a little kid and you busted your head open and, and you went to the, uh, your your babysitter took you to the hospital. And then I didn't skate for, I remember I picked up guitar or something. Oh, you I did? Remember. Oh. Started taking some lessons in that or whatever the fuck I don't remember. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Baseball? Did you ever play baseball? Yeah, I played yeah, sports. The, yeah, yeah. Every sport except for basketball. Yeah? Soccer, I mean, AYSO. Soccer that. was my right. everything. Oh, really? It was like nine years, two seasons a year. Oh. Soccer. Damn. I like feet sports. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is, I'm just the Clumsy. You, hands, you're I mean, not. don't get me wrong. As I get older, I don't care about any sports except for basketball because yeah. that's the best ones to go watch. It's fun, You get right? to actually watch these. Well, see, I like it because 
they're real fucking athletes. Yeah. They talk shit to each other. They really try to hurt each other. Yeah. Like yeah. it's fun, you know what I mean? Right. Hockey's gnarly. The reason I like hockey is because you're actually allowed to beat the shit out of somebody. Yeah. <laughs> and you only instead of getting a lawsuit, you get two minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Like, okay, you go sit the fuck down and I'll see you in five. Seriously. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's heavy, man. So you played soccer and all that stuff, and then uh then you went back to skating. You got uh Yeah, my yeah. uh this girl I've known since I was like three for my birthday, oh. she uh, stole her brother's skateboard because he was gone somewhere or something okay. like that. And she was like, hey, here you go, and mm. gave it to me for my birthday. And that was my older brother. My whole family's carpenters. Like on oh, my really? dad's side, they're, they help. They just build houses and whatever oh, else. Dope. Okay. So my older brother and his best friend started skating like six months, a year before me. Mm -hmm. So they built a couple ramps in the yard. You right. can only watch for so long before you're like, okay, I want to try that. Yeah, Oh, well, you, you sure. used to have a bunch of ramps in your driveway. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, I think that was like well, the first time I met you. Well, Vegas didn't have a skate park. Yeah, it was like in so your driveway. <laughs> my brother built a fucking five foot mini ramp, like 16 feet wide. In the in, driveway. In the, in the driveway. And then we had a box, a flat bar. Yeah, box, flat bars, everything, yeah. Yeah. It was, really? It was yeah. pretty casual. And people would just come by and skate. Like yeah, that anything. was like how I met Kenny Anderson. It's how oh, I met okay. everybody because yeah. nobody had a skate park. So during the weekdays, people would come and skate wow. our house. So you started out skating in your driveway pretty yeah. much, right? Mini ramp, yeah. flat bar. What were, you, what were you drawn to? Were you drawn to the mini ramp or... Because I assume like people would come I over like, like Kenny and skate the mini ramp, well, right? Is that uh, no, is that safe to? Assume, I mean, everybody skate anything. Okay, I mean, those dudes. Kenny was yeah the ripper. Him and his, and his brother, older brother Kyle, Kyle. Would just destroy it. Yeah, I don't know. For me, I I like dangerous shit. So yeah. and I thought Jamie Thomas and fucking those dudes were really cool. So right. I was like, I want to do handrails. Like I want to skate fucking rails and Dude. drops and stairs and. It's taking a very serious toll on my body after how many years. <laughs> Dude, but you know what though, bro? You are so fucking good at like manual and ledge tricks. Yeah, you know what dude. I mean? Like, I don't, you don't really see like the big, like heavy gap skaters and like the gnarly dudes like get down on manuals yeah, kind of and ledges. Yeah. You know, it's well, like. That has uh, to do with Kenny, Kenny Anderson and them. Oh yeah. I would see how Kenny looks so casual doing nose manuals, whatever. So I would start way up my street okay. and see how far I can manual. Oh. And then like yeah. go back up and see how far I can manual. And spend hours until it was like, you know, some days like, okay, I just manualed a fucking quarter mile. Or well, something wait, like you that live in or, Vegas, so it wasn't like a downhill. So maybe no, a slight. No, it just, it's maybe it's slight. slight. You okay. just push right. as fast as you could and then just like okay. sit there. Right. Okay, I got this far. Next yeah. time I'm gonna get ten more feet. Right. Next time I get ten more feet. You're trying to manual all the red ones? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's, Kenny's nose manual took yeah. over the world. <laughs> but I mean that that's cool though. I mean, like I, I'm just saying, like, you you fucking kill it at the manuals, dude. Thank you. I get to hang out with guys like you. So. Dude, I mean, <laughs> I've many many days I filmed you at a uh, Beebles Park. Like, yeah, but you also see how stuff. hard I work for my manuals. But it's but you like, know what though, what like the kids see is Instagram. Of course, like, yeah. damn, it's that looked instant. like yeah, yeah. that right. looked awesome. Yeah, but you're like yeah, that was fucking. That was like. Right. <laughs> 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 but that's a beauty of it though. That's a beauty of like the manuals and stuff. Like yeah, they are just brain fucks. Oh, brain yeah. melters but you know it's like well that's a, i think it's, it's a one satisfaction of, of landing that that's trick. i think to me it's the most satisfying tricks yeah. of anything because a handrail mm -hmm. sorry for all you handrail skaters out there but there was a reason why we skated them because you can go skate a fucking 20 stair and you get the trick within it either got broke or you landed it first or second try right yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that was the end of it a manual it's like 12 hours later yeah. holy shit sometimes you do most of the time you don't and then when you finally land it you're like fuck you yeah <laughs> like, right right Two days, two weeks later sometimes. Oh, yeah. It's like, fuck, That man. cab flip switch manual, I think that oh, was yeah? 10 times back, two to three hours each time I of feel... literally 500 tries each oh, yeah. time, 600 tries. I feel you. But pain, when you man. did it, though, was it like, did you do it really fast the day that you landed it? or? Did oh, yeah, yeah. It... The day I landed it was See? like within it... 12 tries or something like that. That's crazy how that works. You yeah, know? yeah. Right. And you know what sucks is that when you do work so hard for a trick like that, you're not really that satisfied. Yeah. Like, I didn't feel the feeling until like two weeks later when I was sitting around. I was like, oh my God, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I'd never have to go back <laughs> to that fucking spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try that trick again. Sometimes, yeah. It's either if you land it too fast, you don't feel it. Or if you land it after too much work, right. you don't feel it. Right, right, right. It's kind of rad to have that nice medium in that. Yeah. I Sometimes like that. I like to work for something, but... Not work that fucking hard. But at the same time, though, you get so involved in your head. Like, yeah. you know you could do it. You're physically capable. Your mind and everything, it's uh, all yeah. there. I wouldn't even try something if but, I didn't see it before I right. could 
even started, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the reality of it. <laughs> right. Or you're just trying something and then something else happens and you're like, oh, maybe I can go 360 on this. Like, fuck, <laughs> this sounds good. That actually happens a lot. Yeah. You know, when you're fuck up and you're like, wow, I could do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> First. And then you stop trying that trick and you go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fuck yourself up yep. for a couple yeah. more days. Yeah. So then Vegas, um, so, oh, the mini ramps and stuff. Team Cheese? You couldn't skate that ramp unless you dropped in on this eight foot vert wall that had one foot of transition. So everybody ate shit the first time or second time and yeah. it just kind of turned into their little funny thing. And you had to bring a case of beer, <laughs> which we were little kids. Like, I love we didn't it. know where yeah. the fuck we were going to get a case of beer. Like, right. Uh, but that's but, like true ramp keeper. Like oh, yeah, you got to yeah, do yeah. this, yeah. and then like didn't you have to like ollie over a moat, like a, a thing of shit, or know, like there's, uh, there's Kenny's. A couple people that, that yeah. Kenny I, would tell me stories like they had like a a pit of glass. Oh God! They got to like clear or something like that. Yeah, or, yeah. I only got to skate there a few times when I was a kid, but uh, yeah, there was a, there was a couple of the older cats that right. they all had those rules, which <laughs> I mean I still think it's pretty rad. Yeah. It's like hey, torture these little shitheads. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm they down. Deserve the fall. Yeah. Totally. You could take it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But did you, so did you get uh, like sponsored right away or did it take no. you? No. I mean, or, I wasn't really too worried about it. I just wanted to skate. You just want to skate, right? Yeah. Right. But you moved out here when you were like 17, right? To LA. Yeah. I mean, was I it, think were you it was, sponsored then yeah, too? Or you were? I was on, uh, Kenny put me on Mercury Trucks oh. and Audio. Oh, yeah. And, dope. you know, I was on Kenny Anderson Flow. Yeah. So I got yeah. all the Planet Earth boards I needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little seven and a half. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Uh, those are my. I still, I still ride those. <laughs> but there was, it was like you know, I would always go between him, and then I would buy a used board off a couple other okay. older dudes. Right. And so it'd be like one week it's eight and a half, the next week it's seven and a half. Mm. Like it would ch constantly switch yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Always had old wheels, road pair trucks for two years. Right. Like, it's kind of weird though, switch back and forth. I mean, I guess when you're young, you don't really you oh, want to skip. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, at all. You just now like, it's like you switch one little old. thing and you're. <laughs> Like, I've been riding the same shape for, I don't know, six years. And before that, it was like 10. Did you grow up skating with uh, Vinny Vegas? I did. Yeah. He was uh, my next door neighbor. We, uh, it was like, there was considered two crews. It was the shorties crew. And then there was the zero crew. Oh, really? <laughs> and, like, and me and my friend Jeremy, we were the only two that can go back and forth because we were friends with everybody and we just got along with everybody. Yeah. And then, you know, like Vinny and Matt Ball and all those dudes, they were all the zero crew and they were just like, ah, handrails and fucking blah. And then like the shorties crew was like, who ecstasy is? and fucking <laughs> and like we sat around and fucking turntables at nighttime right, and like right, manuals right. who is Minnie Muska oh that's uh, Muska Matt Muska Matt yeah yeah okay. he's uh, one of our close friends he's part of the DBK he's uh, Sammy Baca's best friend oh. like it's just family. Yeah, I just remember you guys always like call him Mini Muska. Yeah, yeah. And fully, well, fully musked out. Is, well, no, it's like Desert Breeze crew. They there was like five mats, mm -hmm. so everybody had a different fucking. There was Greco mat. There was New York mat. There was Muska mat. There was like there was Matt. Yeah, <laughs> just, just plain Matt. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there was a bunch of different of the same people, so everybody kind of had nicknames. Mm -hmm. But were these kids. crews beefing like the Shorties crew and the Zero? Like, are they yeah, sitting yeah, yeah. and skate? Oh, they would beef. Like it oh, wasn't yeah, yeah. like well, Vinny's a hater. Oh, okay. I don't know. I haven't seen him in years. I don't right, know. right, right. But all them dudes were they were haters. Oh, and then like. The other dudes just were relaxed and stoned all the time. They didn't get it. Yeah. And it was like, I've smoked weed my whole life. So, okay. hey, I like you guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you never got inducted into any of the crews. You were kind of the, no, you were kind of in the middle. Yeah, I was uh, oh. medium. Right. I right. mean, I hung out with the Zero crew all the time because they skated the shit I wanted to skate. Right. Mm -hmm. And then at nighttime, we'd go or you, whatever. And that was, then we finally had a skate park and that's when everything started. Right. And it was weird because... Every, all the crews started to go together, but all the filmers started the battle. Oh. And that's still, like, the funniest thing to me, because they, oh, fuck that dude, you know what I mean? He doesn't film the way I can. I can film better. Da, 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 da. Oh, filmer beef. Yeah, always filmer beef. <laughs> no way. <Yeah. laughs> wow. Raj, you been for film, you have filmer beef with anybody? Not that I know of. Okay, maybe people. <laughs> <laughs> maybe people do, but uh, that's pretty funny, dude. Fucking yeah. filmer beef. Dude. Never really heard of that. No? Maybe you have, Raj. I don't know. Yeah. So, so you're on Kenny Flow back in the day. What you just decided to come out to L.A. or was there like a no. did somebody come out here with you or how no, was no. that? I mean, yeah, I came out here with. Uh, was that your well, first? First, we 
it was like me, my friend Jeremy Moore, my best friend Eric Hamamoto, and we were like, okay, we we knew when we were fifteen that California was for us. Oh, I mean, we knew it before that, but we knew like never we were, been here. We before. were gonna move. No, I mean, I family take trip, maybe family yeah, trips okay. and whatever. And you'd be like, you fuckers are taking me back to Vegas, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, like, I gotta go back. But there. Uh, we always wanted to move to Huntington because oh. we thought that was the mecca. Yeah, that was we it, thought right. that was it. So we moved to Huntington and. Jeremy and them moved in with uh, Arto. Oh, and they lived with him. So I came out there to stay when Arto was on some vacation I and mean, on some tour for like a month or two. Okay, I came out there. Two weeks in, I about shot myself in the face. I was like, "This is the fucking worst." What do you mean? You can't come from Las Vegas where everything goes off all night long. Yeah, and then you move to fucking Huntington Beach, <laughs> and it's just it quiet. Was, no, seven o'clock at night. You just hear chirping, right? And whatever, and there's not a car for fucking. And that, that, that drove that drove street. you crazy? Oh yeah, because then we drove up to LA one day and we we're like. Oh, we're never going back to Huntington. Ever oh, again. Yeah. Like, and we and literally we all moved into LA. Okay, found this kid that we moved in with. I got in a fight with him like ten days in, and, like a fist fight. Yeah, oh. and then uh, <laughs> he kicked me out, and I didn't want to go home, so I was like, "That's when I moved with Joey Brzezinski and them out in Redlands for like a month Jesus. and a half." In San how did you? Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. how did you hook? How did you just you through knew Kenny. him or no, oh through he Kenny? Was, he, was oh. Renting, he was renting Kenny's old house or something like that. Got Kenny's you. been a smart fucking oh, businessman since right. the beginning. Yeah. Like right. So I remember I was we went to a trade show and Eric he tells me he's like, "Do you really are you happy out there?" I was like, "No," and he's like, "Why don't you come back out to fucking L.A. and figure it out?" Yeah. So they lived right next to Manchester Park. Is that oh. what it's called right next to the airport? Westchester. Yeah, Westchester. Westchester. So yeah. they lived right there, and I would sleep in Venice Beach for like eight months. I just slept on the streets. I would just come out here. You just and slept just, in the streets. I would just find like big trees because they would keep you shaded where it wasn't fucking a million degrees. I mean, seventeen years old. Like, did you, oh, did you have a blanket and a pillow? Or yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you did stuff and whatever. And but there I mean, was that's like, still sketchy. It was though. like you know, yeah, of course. I got jumped a few times. Oh, you did. I got fucking always like threatened by gnarly fucking right hoodie ass suits. But I was came from some shit myself that okay. it was like I understood I was fine right you know what I mean right and it was you could just, handle yourself yeah, it was and, normal right, and normal okay. and then I met uh, Jamie Owens and he let me oh. sleep at his house for like two three nights and that's when uh, 9-11 happened I was at his house wow whoa and then, is that when he was working for Jackass uh, no I think he was working for skateboarder yeah skateboarder mm. and uh, yeah that day is when I shot the backsmith at Beverly 12 Ooh. was right after we woke up and watched the buildings go down and I remember just going like is this going to go down in history and he's like yeah this is a big deal and I was like you want to go skate you want to go skate <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus Damn, uh, right. I don't know I'm sorry I just didn't you but know you were, how was, I was a kid but you were like, probably, how old were you yeah I was going to say how old were you that because I that mean was that was 2001 so I was yeah. 17 yeah. I was the same age oh, then because yeah. I did the same thing right. I was like this is nuts but I'm going to go <laughs> yeah go I was skate. like I'm yeah. just going to go shred like, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 and then we went skating my board broke after that and then me and my friend Eric we were like oh let's go get a uh, we have to go buy a used board so we went down to Melrose. Oh. And this is 912. Okay, the, and, the day after. Yeah. Right. And we're walking down Melrose and I see this guy is just honking the horn, flying down the street, holding an American flag out the street, screaming America, and it's Chad Muska. Oh, Chad. No way. <laughs> and I was like, what "Oh the shit." And then he really? just happened to fucking run into us like a block or two later. He was just skating down the street. And Did you told, know him? No, we told you him. I was like, "I'm from Vegas, you know, a lot of your best friends are people that okay. help raise me and whatever." And he was like, "Do you have any footage?" And I gave him just a couple clips like that and whatever. Uh -huh. And he's like, oh, we have this place, Broken Projects, right here. Oh. And we walked in the Broken Projects. He put it in. The first trick was the backsmith down the 12. And he just pressed stop. And he's like, so you're on shorties? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Ghetto child. Are whatever. you serious? Yeah, just literally rifled off every sponsor. One had. trick. Like, just one trick. I should right? have given him right up. Yeah, he was just like, you're from Vegas. You grew up on the same street, blah, blah, blah. You're on everything. Wow. That was for... A few months, I was still doing my own shit. Shorties, was, was, was that the was that the board company yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. No, this was the peak of Musk. Peak. Of, oh. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Musk is still the of peak. No, you know, I, I get it. Is no, this for sure, after for sure. Guilty? He's right. the Musk. Yeah, of is course. Is this after yeah. Guilty came out? Yeah, I think it was right after. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you're getting bored? I mean, everything. Yeah, right. yeah. He wow. just instantly started blessing me with Jesus. everything and okay. like fat, beautiful nugs and oh, yeah. whatever. And like, <laughs> just, it, was, it was tight. Like, right. It was like- He's been like, a good influence. He was like dating <laughs> Paris Hilton or something oh, at that God, time. Right, I don't right. remember. It was all fucked up. It was right, crazy. Right. We were just like, what is going on? Holy shit. This is Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> LA, what the fuck were we doing in Venice? Mm -hmm. like, uh, <laughs> in Huntington, like- Right. I did that for like, I don't remember, six months or something. Okay. And then- 
I was skating L.A. High, and that's when I seen Anthony Mosley. Oh. And he was like, where are you sleeping tonight? And I was like, oh, just under a tree. It's a weird and question to like, ask. I never ask that question well, to people. Well, he just knew, because we knew him already from oh, you knew, back okay. and whatever. And so right. he just knew that, like, okay, yeah. I was still sleeping on some streets oh, and whatever. Oh, gotcha. Okay. He was like, oh, you can say at my house, we just I just got this apartment. And that was the day that uh, Bootleg and all them started and whatever. And mm. so it was like train wreck and whatever. And it just so happened Jim Greco and Andrew and all oh, them yeah. got kicked out of their apartment that day. Oh, the one so, in Huntington? No. Or the one in... Out here. Oh. So they needed a place to sleep. I guess Greco went off to, like, rehab. Oh. Okay. And, fucking, and Andrew and all them. So I showed up at the house. Right. Ended up like hanging out all night. And the next day they were just like, do you really want to ride for all that? Like, oh, really? Like, you got a choice here. And it was like, wow. Oh, later, shorties. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's good. I mean, yeah. shorties kind of went went went, well, went, I, went I, away. I asked them shortly after. Are you guys going to ever do anything? Am I going to turn am and this and that? And they're like, oh, yeah. And it's like, well, I don't give a fuck then. Oh, Shorty's was saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I had no plan. I was too grimy for them, I think. Yeah. Everybody, everybody was fresh, and I was just you were fucking... Just, right. Hey. Yeah. A little fucking Hesher. Did yeah. you ever skate with... What was that dude? Victor Fanouche? Is yeah. that... He was he was gnarly though he where was he from Yaka Yokaipa I think Yokaipa yeah 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 but was that were you guys kind of on shorties at the same time yeah right yeah there? it was right and around then, the same exact time and he ended up getting on the team yeah and well I mean it was all a blessing in disguise so yeah did you have to call <laughs> Muska and tell him or did you did. just kind of, you did yeah was he like oh, it's all right it's all right, it's all right dog it, like, no, what, he was what, like he, <laughs> what the fuck man I don't understand like, was he really yeah. uh, and then, but no he was cool he, oh, he was he, cool he's Chad he's fucking the coolest dude ever I love him to death he understands. Yeah. He's literally like my fucking godfather. Dope, like, dope. It's good godfather to have. <laughs> and seriously, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, he's he's taught me a lot. You know what yeah. I mean? He showed me the ropes of LA and took me in. And That's a good mentor years. right there. I know. Extremely good. I went Jeez. from, I had Kenny Anderson and Chad Muska. It was like, wow. Right. I grew up right. You know what I mean? Seriously. You grew up balanced. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you litter with one person, he'll fucking slap you and slam on the brakes yeah. and make you pick it up. You litter with an idea like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in Hollywood. So now you're in Hollywood. You're staying at this dude's house. You're just staying there. You weren't living there, right? Mosley's, or did you no, 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 Mosley's was, house? No, that was that was the bootleg house. And it was like, oh. you know, this is train wreck, fucking wild days. This is whatever. Like, he'd wake you up at fucking five o'clock in the morning with a big, you know, you ever seen train wreck? His fucking palm. He's is, got a big hand. Dude, he's massive. Oh, really? Dude, smack the shit out of him. Like, yeah, like, he was, oh. he was a monster. I loved it. And then after that, like, the America Mansion was getting started, and oh, Andrew yeah. just was like, "Hey, you're never have to sleep on the streets again. Dope. You're never gonna have to do anything here with us." And that was a wrap. For me. Were you? Right. How were you making? Were you making money? Were you just like selling product or something to oh, get yeah, by? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, okay. I was getting like five hundred bucks or something oh. like that from America at that oh, time. Oh, dope. Okay. And I mean, five hundred bucks for somebody who had nothing—that's fucking you a lot. Rent to pay. <laughs> I mean, it was when I say it was a lot. It was like. I still loved my friends, so it was like, first check I ever got, I bought an ounce of weed and an ounce of mushrooms, and right. then it was like, Jesus. woo! <laughs> like, we fucking <laughs> made it, guys, woo! <laughs> like, the next day, you're like, sorry, I don't make more no, money. I need, to, broke again. I need to, yeah, hey, I have whatever, to wait for to a normal, month. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, after that, it was like, yeah, you're with us, and Dope. everything is a wrap. Right. Just always had places and whatever. Sick. And Andrew would always take care of, and Ellington, and everybody would always take care of me, and yeah. just make sure. And they would give us like, okay, Here's 15 boards every two weeks or something like that, and they go go sell them at Hollywood High. You know what oh, I mean? Oh wow, that's so dope. At yeah. least you could sell them for 25 bucks here, there. You right. Got fucking cool. Paid for gas, paid for food. Did now, you, now you get a promo code. Right, I know because back then, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah, back then it was like you know you didn't need that much money to survive, really. You know, you I just kind of need. When you're that, that age, yeah, no, exactly. You're just like as long as I have. You know, friends and at that, food and yeah, you had friends bed. and literally everybody else kind of took care of everything. You know, when you're fucking on that point, you're like, okay, so I have Taco Bell for breakfast, McDonald's for lunch, right. and KFC for dinner. You right, know what I mean? Right, so it's right. like I you, spent fifteen you, bucks today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you healthy right now? Do you eat healthy right now? Or extremely do you, healthy. Do you really? Well, I know you drink. Yeah, this fucking guy. Gallon this gang, gallon you know, of water. The gallon gang. And you say you drink. <laughs> you see, you drink, you drink like two of those a day. I mean, definitely one, but I can't even drink a quarter if we're, of that. If we're skating, it's definitely somewhere around two. But what do you, what do, you do? Like make breakfast, and do you, like do you eat? You, yeah, you try I mean, to eat healthy. You go to like Whole Foods. The most or something? amazing woman in the world. Okay, that she helps me with great, insane breakfasts. Oh, and then perfect. We, I mean, the only thing that it's not healthy yeah. is I have juices. I have all this shit just because I've broken every bone so many yeah. times. I kind of have to. Right. 
But the only thing that's not healthy is how much coffee I drink. You were saying earlier you drank like six cups a day or something. Dude, <laughs> and these, and they, and no, no, no. these cups mark? were like triple shots. Yeah, they're, not, they're, not, like, they're not cups. They're, they're literally like shots. It's okay, many, shots. No, right. no, no. Like, okay, so I'm going to get an espresso with an extra two with espressos an, inside that espresso. Yeah. Like, as much cream and fucking with coffee poured on top of that Jesus and then like chocolate Christ, on it or something. Nice, bro. Yeah. I like to sprack out. You do. <laughs> don't, don't you feel like I, if I, I, I had to switch to espresso because I was drinking like normal cups of coffee, but even when I was try to go skate I would be shaky right so I drink an espresso and that kind of like was I was like okay I found that this is like good for me you know I have so much bad ADHD oh, that oh, like okay. if I don't like I'm the type of dude that everything that is bad for people right. calms me down Oh. And it puts me back to normal. So it's like reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. If so you I drink, don't the, drink coffee, that's when I'm like... like oh, really? Know. Wait, so you could drink a cup of coffee and go to bed. Ch- yeah, easily. oh, easily. A cup, cup of espresso. <laughs> easily. What, what are we talking about? Double shot of espresso, you're, you're, you're knocking out. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like Retta. Yeah, these people with their coffee, man. Yo, man, it's ADHD, crazy. it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> you know, you, you hear people getting diagnosed with it all the time, and I'm like, is that really... Don't, I mean, we all have a little bit of that, or maybe well, I mean, people I are more extreme than others. I don't know. I, 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 don't I know. got diagnosed in right. second grade, so I must have been like oh. six or something like that. But see, how do you di- how do you get diagnosed in second grade? I feel like all yeah. kids have energy, and they're, they're, know, they're hyper. Yeah, the and, difference yeah. is that most of those kids could actually sit down when the oh. class started. You know oh. what I mean? Like I would be running circles around the whole class. Would you get in trouble? <laughs> would you get in trouble a lot in school? Yeah, I was. Oh, you were. Oh, you. Well, like when they put me in in second grade, they put me in special ed with like a bunch of mentally challenged people. No. And this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did. And I was in that my whole life from well, then why, on. Why? Why? why and would so, they, like, that's crazy. I had a lot of resentment towards oh. people and authority and right. fucking teachers and everybody. So I constantly was fighting. I constantly was in trouble. I've been oh. kicked out of fucking like twelve schools. Jeez. Like, I didn't know there was that many in Vegas. Yeah, there's, Jesus there's not. Christ. Like I got wow. sent to random boarding schools oh and fucking God, damn. all types of random stupid shit. Like Wow, I didn't know that. Did you did you graduate from no. high school? No. What grade I mean, did you... if I graduated, none of this would have ever happened. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. left at 17. Everything happened at 17. That Whoa. senior year would have been... So you left, would have happened. You left, <laughs> you left at 11th grade, pretty much. 11th, yeah, yeah, you I, didn't go to 12th. No. Oh, okay. Wow. But I, I knew that that was going to happen because it was like, right. I'm going to run away or I'm going to go. Either oh, one. so you ran away. No, I told oh. my mom. I was like, you know, I turn 18 next year. So yeah. either... You're going to let me run away. I mean, you're going to keep me here, which right. means I'm going to run away before that. Or you're just going to accept the fact that the second I turn 18, oh. I'm going to be gone mid of that year. Right, right, gone. right. Okay. So wow. you had your mind you you had about your, it. Like, you had your mind set. You yeah. were ready to. Yeah. So she gave you her blessing. She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Oh, that's dope. Well, she didn't know I was sleeping on the street. She thought I was sleeping other places. As well, I, I later mean, on, as I got older and I told her everything, did, she's like, oh my God, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Sure. Like, I'm sure. My little boy is fucking, he was a mess. And right. Like, so, I mean, you're calling her from pay phones, like, hey, mom, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here at Meska's house or yeah, yeah. whatever. Well, that was yeah. the thing is that, yeah, 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 well, we got Chad and we got fucking all these people. So, yeah. You know what I mean? She always thought I was safe and yeah. this and right. that, but it was like, nah, yeah, well, they have their own life. Yeah. They just, you know, take us to Katana once or twice a week. <laughs> Katana, yeah. To, then I go and sleep under a tree. <laughs> I've never meditated until recently because I was trying, a lot of these people that have ADHD and okay. whatever that are adults are like, right. you know, we meditate and this and that. And so I tried it for like five minutes. And the only, I think the first time I ever did it was I literally shut my eyes and my mind always races, but. I just imagined me bombing down a sidewalk. Oh. And it was just that noise. Of and that was da-dum, your meditation. Da-dum, 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 and it was like, oh. I literally was in such a happy place. Interesting. I felt so good. Right. And then every once in a while, there's like a fucking curb cut and you're like, and you yeah. just kept going. And you just, yeah, it was so Well, fun. like you, you were saying like you got, you got uh, diagnosed when you were like two years old or whatever. Six. Six. I'm sorry. Two years old. Second, Second grade. Second grade. Yeah. 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 You know. I hope a two-year-old's but, fucking <laughs> like, Jesus. But I mean, like, you had to take medication, right? They give you medication. Preser- yeah, they fucked me over. So I was, like, part of the, like, 4,000 test dummies for, oh. for Adderall and whatever. Mm-hmm. And okay. it was, like, they would put me, sit me down with, what are those, shrinks? Oh, yeah. That would just go, now you just do you. And just draw or no, they just write and oh. like, like this and watch you and observe so I, you. Right. It would make me so mad, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are you riding? Right. Blah blah blah. And then when I got, I don't know, eleven or twelve, they put me part of the test dummies for Adderall. Oh. And just pumped me as much it's as so they. Po- I know. Up, man. My dad Jeez. fucking he was so mad. But yeah. 
He didn't have custody, so oh. there's nothing he can do. But and I mean, mom, like nowadays, if I you would sh- never do this to my kids. My kids are not. Uh, like, I want them to fucking be able to express themselves in yeah. any which way. Like, I was, I was gonna say, like, would you re- nowadays, if if you're if you you had a kid and they were diagnosed, would you like recommend something else, like yeah, meditation or I'll get something? Them a tutor. Oh like, yeah, they, right, right, right. <laughs> I'll get them somebody that's nice that they can actually have, yeah. like. Okay, it's you one on one. You guys can sit down. You don't need to be in these classes. You don't need because it taught me how to be an asshole. Right. It taught me how to have a lot of hatred in my yeah. life. You know what yeah. I mean? Plus and medication. It's me a lot and all as that I've gotten older to like slow that down yeah. because I'm like, there's nothing that <laughs> For you're sure Adderall about, is helping you, know you focus I mean? your energy somewhere too. Yeah. Well, no, that's the thing because that's what coffee. So you see drug addicts who take fucking Adderall and Ritalin. Mm-hmm. Woo! You give me that shit. I'm just like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. Right, right. <laughs> like, right, right. That's just crazy to me, like, to, to the, for kids to be on medication. It seems just so wrong. It's like, so I wrong. feel like there's other ways it's so to wrong, go yeah. about, there's like... natural herbal things well, that yeah. you can give them. You don't need to give exactly. them 200 cc's of fucking... Right. A 24-hour... Give them a fidget Whatever, spinner. yeah, like... <laughs> or you can just give them a skateboard. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you're just curbing the problem for like a, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're, it's like, you're, you're creating you a bigger this. problem later. Exactly. Yeah, and there then you, you know go. What they do. They get older. Thank God, I'm me, and yeah. I found skateboarding as a kid, and I don't give a shit about that kind of stuff. Right. You know, everybody else that I've seen that was diagnosed with that, they get older, and then now they're like, I, I need a therapist constantly, and now you know my therapist says that I have I have this, so I take mm-hmm. twelve Xanax a day, and I, I'm like, God damn, you right. got fucked over. Like, yeah. you literally believe that shit. Yeah. Like, for me, I have a skateboard. And that thing took me away from everything else. That's dope. And then once I found all that, I used to put them pills under my mouth and then bah, like I have built a spot under my tongue so deep back that nobody could ever find a pill. Oh, God. <laughs> but then like, but then I can go back five minutes later and throw that thing in the trash and wow. that was the whole thing, you know what I mean? Oh, so you would stop, to, you would, Yeah, oh. I figured it out like around Interesting. 13 or 14. Okay. No I was way. Like, I was like, this I've is never not. heard anyone doing that before. Yeah, because everybody's not as smart as me. <laughs> 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 well, it's good to, so you were missing now, do you meditate a lot now, or do no, you? I mean, oh, I you just tried it. No, like, this was like three days ago. Oh, <laughs> I'm just literally. Do you, do you think you'll do it again? What are you, you doing? Were you just saying like, oh, I think I'll try to meditate now? No, like, I was what, actually talking you... to a couple people who had ADHD that uh, were like 40 where years did, old. How do you? And... Were you in a chat room? Like, <laughs> where do you find these people? Like, I don't, yeah, this is come on. Man. Like, <laughs> did you DM them? I, no, no, no. <laughs> no. I'm not. I'm not the best at the, at the whole interweb <laughs> and whatever else. So I wasn't definitely none of right, the DMs right, in the chat rooms. Or anything no so you but talk no, to just, and then you i just randomly you know oh. what i mean like people ask me because they'll see me and they'll be like dude you're kind of like woo right like, and they're like hey do you have adhd and i'm like yeah and they're like so do i oh okay. like, <laughs> right 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 so you tried it and it was good well i mean i've tried it for years but it's yeah. like it doesn't work my meditation is skateboarding mm-hmm. and that's what stops my brain that's what my when i'm trying to trick or when i want something i'm 100 focused right nothing in the world you know you yeah, of course me. Like, of course yeah you yeah. know that I will literally run back and forth and oh, back dude. and forth for hours because you get it, yeah. it's yeah. in my head and there's nothing in the world that can distract me from that. A fucking bomb can go off and I'll be like, this trick's right get, here. Right. You know I mean? No, like, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Compulsive. Yeah, very no, it's, it, it's definitely like you'll you'll do it till your legs fall off pretty much. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, Which and, you've seen many of times uh, too. Of course, where, of course. You I know? mean, for me, once I'm in it, I'm screwed Yeah. because I will literally... There's no giving up. There's no stopping. There's no anything. The only time I'll stop is because I'm physically throwing up so many times and my legs, every time I stand up, there's Mm -hmm. so much blood that my legs will literally give out as I'm walking. Like, I can't, I can't stop. I literally will start a trick and I'll try it until... I mean, I've had to tell filmers and them, I'm sorry, I, yeah. you have to stop because I right. feel bad because I'm gonna use the shit going. out of you. Like, well, I remember, like you, you would, you, you would even set the camera up on a on a little tripod because you'd be like, I don't want to do this to any of you guys. Yeah, it's so like bad I'm just gonna for everybody right. else. So I'm like, hey, it's like this is me. Right, I'm gonna put my own hell towards totally. myself. Yeah, and well, yeah, that's why I have to get the new phones that have fucking as much space as possible <laughs> yeah. so I can film for four <laughs> hours straight. Was that on like every type of thing that you skate though or is it just like ledges and mail pads? Everything. So you're skating yeah. handrails and you're like, I'm not. Everything. That's gnarly. Yeah. Like unless a bone is actually sticking out, yeah. right? I will continue to keep going. Well, like, like you were saying, how much I'm bleeding, it doesn't matter what's going on. I don't care. I won't give up. Like, like you were I saying, can't. you came from board, hit your head, and you're like, I got next try. Let's go. Well, I <laughs> thought I had a next try. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so gnarly, dude. Did you go back and get those tricks, by the way? No, I just decided after that that I was like, I've only hit my head twice. I'm right. not going to skate this spot ever again. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not anything the wrong with the Hollywood 
or whatever, I mean, with the stairs or anything, it's the fact that it's the only spot that has sandpaper ground that whenever you land, mm. it just jerks your head back. Oh. You know what I mean? Right. And that, and come on, we all have Instagram. You've seen those fucking oh, eight-year-olds dude. who do it. And I'm like, dude. well, come on. There's dudes that are like nine that are hard flip back lipping it. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have the urges to care anymore. Right, right. right. Well, right. what's up with this weed maps thing? You know, it just kind of came out of nowhere and they're doing all these skate trips. And uh, it seems like it seems like a really cool thing. Yeah, you know? How did you get involved yeah. with that? It's yeah, how, how did cool. you get involved with that? They came up to a bunch of, well, from what I was told, the owners grew up because they grew up in Southern California or something like that. Okay. And they uh, were really into action sports and this kind of whatever. Yeah. Or something on that level, but they wanted to start kind of a cool. Pretty much it goes like this If you skateboard for a living, you probably eat the shit out of Advil. Right. And yeah. it's something else. And everybody knows, you know, these things are really bad for your liver, of really course. bad for you, period, and whatever. Yeah. Most athletes, whether they're huge athletes that you know because there's they got these nike and these whatever mm -hmm. i'm talking about basketball football fucking it doesn't matter what it is right everybody in the world smokes weed okay right but nobody most people are too scared to advertise it because they'll lose their paycheck or they'll lose this or that right right so they came up to a bunch of skaters and everybody was scared you know oh, you mean everybody and then uh, just in other industries in right. industries of yeah. this and skateboarding most people were like no 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 in skateboarding yeah Tons oh. of people. What, like the riders were scared? Yeah, because uh -huh. it was like, oh, it says weed and this and that. Like, yeah. I ride for fucking Red Bull and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but blah, you know what, though? You're I mean, with like, my check. First off, Red Bull, all that, y'all are bad for everything. <laughs> like, you're going to kill people. I've never heard of anybody ever dying from marijuana. Right, Not right. one single person. But I mean, ever. nowadays, too, like, it's just becoming so accepted now. It's, it's getting legalized and all this stuff, so it's becoming more yeah. and more accepted. Exactly. And, um, it's. I, I mean, I, I'm. I'm. I'm pro. You know. I think it's a good thing. Well, you know? that and there's. You know, there's cannabis. I mean, there's there's a CBD. Yeah. And then there's THC. Yeah. So, if you don't even want to take Advil and you don't want to smoke weed, you don't want to whatever. They make gummy bears CBD that are better than Advil. That don't get good you high. You. They don't right. get you high at all. All yeah. it does is take away pain. For sure. That's what they give cancer patients. That's yeah. what they give everybody. You know what I mean? Right. The CBD stuff's dope. It works. It works. It really works. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. And. There's so many smart botanists out there that they figured out how to just extract, take this the, instead of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And it's it's honestly a blessing. This one plant can do so many things that can save the world. You know what I mean? And it's crazy that they're just finally trying to legalize it now. You know, I mean, there's so many people well, that are like, that's you know, why is because what was it back? I don't remember what year like when 1940s. Or yeah, something, yeah. something <laughs> when you know, Tobacco all of companies. our old presidents they used to grow. Mm -hmm. have hemp plants at the White House and right. everything, but because of some president who probably got paid a shit ton that hemp could fucking take out cotton, could take out a bunch of different things that, you know... Take out a bunch of industries exactly. that make million, right. billions of dollars. Yeah, right. so they got it shut down. They got to put it into a class one drug, which yeah. is crazy that it's worse and you get in more trouble than cocaine right. and things that are actually, you know, can get you fucked up. Like, yeah. Yeah, so it's about time that the world's actually realizing that, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a good thing. Oh, and, totally. Yeah. And people are finally stepping forward and showing that, like, we smoke weed and I'm productive. I'm not fat as fuck. I don't right. fucking sit around and just eat all day long and yeah. I'm a pile of shit. It's like, no, no, no. You could smoke weed and still do what you have to do all day. Right. And so they came up to a couple skaters. A lot of people said no because it was this and that but i'm weed saves lives you yeah, know what yeah i mean like sure. i always believed in it and i believe that you know it really does help people yeah so i agreed to it and then you know boo johnson mm -hmm. and tommy sandoval a couple other people agreed to it and okay. it just then we started noticing then surfers then you know people coming out the woodworks of like oh yeah i smoke weed too you know <laughs> right. what I mean? like right, right, yeah yeah right. and these are like huge athletes that are making multi multi millions of dollars a year like in big industries and they're mm -hmm. finally after they retire yeah are going oh yeah i smoked weed the whole time by the way uh <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean For i sure. just wasn't uh allowed to say anything because i was under contracts right yeah. but now that i'm fired or i am retired yeah boom here we go like, right but it so. doesn't seem like it doesn't i mean maybe i'm wrong i haven't watched too many weed maps videos but it, it seems to me like they don't like glorify the weed like it's it's, it's kind not, of it's like not uh, about the weed it's about right. the fact that we skateboard yeah, and we yeah. you know i'll tell you right now on our weed map trips i get more skateboarding done than i've ever gotten done right. on a baker trip yeah I've ever gotten done on any other wow. trip like okay the difference is is that they actually fucking care about you know what is everything 
on these trips is about health. Yeah. And you know, when we went to Hawaii, you woke up at 6.30 in the morning, they got you a yoga class. You started off with yoga, smoking joints the whole time. Right. By the way. Yeah. Okay. And then like, okay. then you went straight from that into like, okay, we're going skating for eight hours. Oh, by the way, after yoga was like a chef that cooked you the most healthy meal, gluten free with fucking no blah, blah, blahs. And, right. And with so, weed in it. No, no, oh. no. Oh, man. <laughs> I was just going to wow. say. No, no. Yeah. You never know. But then we go <laughs> no. skate all day. You know, you end up going skating. You get so much done. Oh, yeah. Right. And then you come home and it's like, they take care of you again. It's mm -hmm. it's it's honestly the best tours I've ever been on. Wow. It's the funnest thing ever. How many tours have you been on? Three. Three. And we've wow. only they've only been around Hawaii, for it's not even a Barcelona, year. And where else? Yeah, and then just a couple of trips like New York and oh, around sick. the states and whatever. And they've been around how long? You were you were. I mean, a couple, for like a year skating, or so, right? Yeah, for for athletes and yeah. whatever. They've not even I don't even think a year. Oh no, wow. just a year because because. It just came up just a couple months ago. Sick. Or a month ago. Weed Map started as an app, right? Yeah, it's an app. Yeah, you could go find the, like, the, the local yeah, dispensaries yeah, and stuff, right? Yeah, they don't physically right? sell weed. They actually are just an app to where you can find weed right. anywhere in the world. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and not just that. You can type in, like, I'm looking for this strain. And it'll be like, well, all these stores carry oh. this. And they have this much left. And da 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 oh. So it's for people, you know, if you need a certain one, oh, I can't eat right. Or yeah. I can't and sleep. And that's the thing, you know a lot of older people don't realize is that like my parents mm -hmm. oh i tried weed back in the 70s and whatever and fucking that shit's really bad and gnarly and you're like no, no that was that weed this is now mm -hmm. real scientists who found out okay if Mixing you want if you want to go to work and you want to work harder this one focuses you okay you know what right. i mean this one does this oh, okay you want to sit on your couch that one's good for that yeah. you, know I mean? like, you want to sleep you want to, yeah. i mean there's if all you these can't sleep trust me this one will put you because they're asleep. mixing right. strains with this yeah. you know the, well, all the you know it's crazy they're blueberry literally. kush with white widow and the dog whatever the names are yeah. you know like yeah. yeah right but it's yeah it's just straight scientists people that could be building nasa ships yeah. and instead they're fucking well it's a huge industry out, though you know it's how huge. to like i mean they're, they're getting paid a lot of fucking money to do that too i'm right? sure that I mean, they are yeah i mean if you're somebody who comes up with sure, fantastic just try and grows yeah. you know what i mean then yeah you're probably gonna kill it wow how, how do you usually smoke weed do you smoke with a bong or a spliff or uh, spliffs yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah no bongs uh every once in a while i'll hit a bong if it's there and like we're just on some trip but just a normal yeah, one like, or like a six footer <laughs> or like what are we talking about like a bong olympics, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bong uh, olympics. party <laughs> <laughs> can you light that down there <laughs> across the room well that's cool though i mean it, I, I i like it because they're just doing rad shit with skating yeah. and skateboarding I mean, you it's know absolutely it, the it's best tours i've ever cool. been on in my life right right now do you think i could go on one of those tours if, if i don't smoke or anything like just hang out yeah. and like, i will tell you that there's a couple people that don't smoke oh, weed really? that you know like they just eat cbds and oh, use that and right. that's more than enough you know what i mean yeah. like but they don't smoke weed at all okay and yeah it's the same thing like if you support it and you understand that it is here for a better cause and mm -hmm. all the prescription drugs right. and the, everything that people put their kids on and whatever else mm -hmm. i mean i'm not gonna be a one of those parents is going to say to my 15 year old, like, oh shit, you're smoking weed. You're grounded. I'm sending your ass away. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, no, no, no. It's like, well, if it helps you and it really does something, I can't argue with it. You, you know like, try I mean? this shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, dad has actually the best <laughs> shit in the world. Like, what if you're a kid and you're like ditching school and you're just smoking weed and you're not, you're well, not. But I think like a lot of kids did yeah, that. But that's, you know, that's, but like that's a, something a, you would probably get mad at your kid about, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's like be, be productive, yeah, right? Yeah. It's the like, the whole do, thing is, right. that is, you know, I don't like lazy stoners. Yeah. Yeah, of course. That shit bothers me. Yeah. Like, right. But I don't like lazy people in the first place. You know yeah. what I mean? It yeah. doesn't matter what you do. If you can't get your shit done every day and do what you're supposed to do, especially what you're paid to do. Right. Or even not paid to do school, which is really important. I personally known since I was a kid, they put me in a situation where I hated school, but I didn't hate school. Right. I loved woodshop. I loved learning about math. I loved all this, but it was authority after a certain age of yeah. people telling me no yes right. and like yeah. sitting you down and writing everything whatever of course i mm -hmm. built a fucking anger towards it you know what i mean right but as i get older i realize that you know and it is one of them things when people say uh oh school sucks and blah blah and remember when i was a kid and they'd say oh that's the best time of your life and you go bullshit 
Yeah. And then for me, it wasn't because best time of my life is still happening every single day. There you go. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. I'm having the time yeah. of my life. I think the school system's broken. Uh, yeah. 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 But I'm I mean, saying all, for most right. people who get stuck behind a cubicle that's like, and mm-hmm. they're staring at a little wall or a computer screen all day, yeah, think about it. Most of those people are talking about the most healthy I ever was was, was when I went to PE every day. And you're like, yeah, because you were forced into it. You, were you know doing- what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. And it was something you got to actually take an hour of your day and go play ball. Yeah, or, and you probably right, had fun okay. doing it. Yeah. 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 Or whatever else that there was, you know, school actually is pretty amazing. It's just the way exactly you said the school system in America is broke. Right. No. Well, they and, don't teach you fundamentals of, of, of living life. Well, they take you know, away everything. Uh, you know what I mean? They're right. literally like... Oh, this is and you're trying that's to force an, everything down your throat, but at the same time, you're not learning how to do your taxes, how to how yeah. to change a tire, yeah, exactly. like I mean, just the basic, just basic shit yeah. that you but need to get even, by. Even that being said, Colorado has some of the best school systems in all of America, and that's due to the fact that marijuana, since they've legalized it, has given like fucking three hundred million dollars right. or a billion dollars to the school systems. Yeah, wow. because they make so much in fucking revenue that. Here you go. We want to actually help. They have our so kids. much money they don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. not yeah. no, not know, not know what to do with it. They're just being smart with it. That hey, yeah. if we're gonna do this, let's do it right. Let's teach our kids and educate them the right way instead of right. where I don't know what really happens in L.A. County. I know Vegas school systems are pretty fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I know that they keep taking away from all the right things and shoving down the shitty things down everybody's throat. Think about how stupid our system is out here. Like, you're old enough to fucking join the army, go get your leg blown off, but you're not old enough to come out here and buy weed, cigarettes, alcohol. Like, you know what I mean? It's really stupid. Right, right. Really stupid. Everything that... Fuck you, America. I'm just kidding. (laughs) 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 But so the weed maps is... I mean, it sounds like a cool... Give me, give me their number after that. I want to. I, I got their okay, number. Wanna, uh, you had Eric Sorensen. Shout out to Eric. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. That dude's all day. Yeah. yeah. We're going to put Weed Map. Uh, we're going to talk to him. We're going to get banners everywhere yeah. and, uh, you know, I get mean, some, finally get some money for this fucking show. You know, I you think they got a letter some. letter in each one of these things. There you go. I think they got some extra money for us, you know, hopefully. <laughs> Let's talk happy hour. Let's talk happy yeah. hour. How did it all start? It started with uh, John Colbert and my friend Josh Hockenberg. They had this idea, and you know, Josh and them, they helped start Shake Giant and helped okay. start Baker Boys Distribution and this and that. Mm-hmm. And we came up to me and Herman, and you know, we always wore glasses. And Herman, he has sensitive eyes, so he always wore glasses. We just kind of all partnered up and oh. said, Let's uh, kick yeah. rocks out of Baker Boys and okay. try to start some new shit. And rad. Went to Long Beach, started out of uh, Josh's garage, wow. where it started as Josh's garage the first year. Then Josh rented out his two neighbors' garage, oh. so it moved three garages. You expanded, yeah, right. <laughs> and then uh, now, then we had our first warehouse, mm-hmm. and now we're at our second warehouse in Long Beach, and it's pretty damn big warehouse. Wow. And we have a couple of different companies. We have Ghetto Child Wheels through us, okay. which is. We're bringing it back because it was the best. Is wheel that company. you guys bringing it back, or yeah. somebody, or you no, distributing no, that's me, it? Herman, oh, okay. Tori Pudwell, oh, dope. A couple other people. Okay. Like we we sat down. We were like, we all rode for it. It's our first wheel sponsor, and it went out of business for what reason? But, Not went out of business. It was more or less when Shorties short, right. fell apart. You know what I mean? We kind of was it part of Shorties at one point, or yeah, I think it. I mean, yeah, it was through their yeah, distribution, and their everything. Yeah. I, Chad Muska owned it, and Chad, we brought. He still owns it. So yeah. we asked him, like, hey, we, we want to bring it back. Yeah. Like, mm, I was going to ask how that happened. Yeah, because yeah. somebody has a trademark probably yeah, to the yeah. name and everything. So. so we brought that back. So now we're a full distribution with Sockadelic. And oh, sick. Yeah. So we got we got quite a few little things oh. going on down there. And it's, it's really growing. And, I mean, they're the best glasses in the world. Literally. Yeah, look at that, Raj. For the, pri- for the price for the price, pair you know of I mean? glasses, like, Raj. You know, let's see. I never really see Raj in sunglasses. Me neither. You know? sunglasses. No. No. So, yeah, look at that. See, oh, look. See, <laughs> see, hey, see, see the hey, white is your cool. color, Raj. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. with the white hat and the yeah. fucking. Look at that. It, it works for me. It works even with the tag. It's like one hundred. Now he Raj should Raj keep that uh, happy hour tag on there. Remember, like the new era oh, hats. Yeah, yeah. This is the new cool thing right now. You know what I mean? You keep the tag. on. Have to tickle your cheek the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. I would love it if you went down to Venice Beach like that, Raj. Please keep wearing that the whole show, dude. That was awesome. Yeah, I do. You are. 
Should at I just this. keep switching him out? <laughs> he's, he's st- yeah. Not only is he he's stoned under those glasses now. Yeah, he's like a weed man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those brownies. Dude, oh, you guys got to bring back the ghetto child uh, track pants. Oh. I, trust me, I would be really happy to bring those back. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Chad, oh, man, I don't even know where to find those. Those were so cool. Yeah. Man. Chad just looked cool. Yeah. He still looks so cool. Man. Any, oh, anything yeah. he puts on, I'm like, you look rad, man. You're number one. <laughs> How's it going, though? The, the, the ghetto child and everything. It's good. Is it I'm, good? Yeah. Yeah, we've only been around for about four or five months. And okay. It's, it's definitely starting to get quite the little. Dope. Well received. Little yeah. Fo- Oh, rad. And you got the, the you got a good squad though. You yeah, got a good we got, we got uh, Tom Penny back. Oh, Ooh, Tom Penny. Sick. Yeah. Wow. Fuck, we got Brandon Turner back on. You know, there. I used to get flowed by. You should put me on the team. You know, <laughs> Dude, yeah. Were you flowed for Ghetto Child? No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get in. You know. But no, yeah, it's definitely yeah. it's a fun squad. You know. About Sheffy, is he on? I haven't seen him in a oh. while. So. Sheffy was the, one of the originals, was he? Yeah, of course. So, it was yeah. the original. Was that old photo, the silhouette of yeah. Muska, Tom, and Sheffy? Yeah. 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 Do you still yeah. use that logo too? No, because I haven't talked to Sheffy. Oh, <laughs> we should hit him up, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, but it should be like you, Tori, and like somebody. Yeah, like, DM him. Yeah, right. You should Me, do the, Tori and Herman just yeah. like, looking off <laughs> in, the, in the distance. It wouldn't be hard to, to get a silhouette going. We kept it original with the writing and the okay. and the like because that's what are you we guys all using stood the same your thing from the beginning? No, no, we actually found. Uh, I mean, you can't ask me these questions. I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, I, I'm I'm a supporter of it, and I right. I ride the wheels. I'm literally not in the office every day yeah. doing yeah. that. Right. Don't get me wrong. We do go down there and answer phones every couple of weeks oh, or something you? like that. Yeah, I yeah? want to do that shit. Like, oh, dope. Answer for happy hour, answer for whoever. And that's another thing. It's like everything we do is pretty much custom, you know? Yeah. Like happy hour, we do fifth, over 5,000 tie-dye shirts. We actually physically oh, all you do. do. Make yeah. what? Like, oh, wow. We don't get those printed at somewhere else. Like wow. it takes us a couple of weeks. You guys have rubber a band crew. Yeah, yeah, rubber band. Wow. Do like John Dixon and a couple other cats fucking wow. Cole Wilson whatever they just sit around all night and have sleepovers and just put no that's way yeah. yeah that's amazing that's dope I love that it's it's pretty tedious like the work is like it kind of takes some time you know what I mean like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah you gotta let them between the, the the dying the tying the drying the everything mm-hmm. we've ruined lots of fucking dryers you gotta buy one of those industrial ones yeah I know no, I think we, I mean we got it all down dialed now that's dope well, well, the first couple of years we were just kind of freestyling it Anything, like, yeah like, yeah and it was kind of funny because you know the kid would buy that shirt thinking he's gonna get that one and then somebody yeah. like me would come in and be like Shh, and they'd be like that doesn't look like that i'm like oh shit <laughs> like i didn't know that you weren't supposed to put a yellow and like yeah but we sold that one. right like right but they got it down but, to a system where it's like they literally between john dixon and a couple other cats they literally they know it perfect, the, yeah. okay oh okay i thought but it's still kind of a one of a kind though yeah too, no they're right? all it's one a, of a kind right. but they i mean it's not the exact pattern but it, it's pretty See, identical yeah, you know yeah I mean? like, right you guys have a system to how you do yeah, it. yeah yeah dope yeah and that's getting made by john dixon too. it's getting that's made amazing. by so many legends yeah. just go down there and just hook it up it's so crazy i love it raj why don't you tie-dye some nine club shirts for people right? yeah, black, yeah why don't sure. you do they're, some they're shit black, man black tie-dye put some, shirts yeah put some fucking bleach in there <laughs> do something let's man do come on like let's, let's get Wait, this you going don't, you don't like salmon Oh, we could do some Ooh. salmon. <laughs> yeah, some this salmon. This guy loves salmon. Right. I love salmon. Yeah. Salmon teas, salmon hoodies. Yeah. Salmon right. You bring in the salmon it? back. Should try and do. Salmon. Okay. I just ruined that kind of clothes. Like I got, sa- I got salmon He's right got here. Salmon shoes. Yeah, yeah. Salmon in the inside. You know. Oh, is that the DGK? Is that your, is that your signature shoe? No, it's a little DGK collab we did. Okay. But, Good, I, great plug, Kelly. No, but he, pl- <laughs> he helped yeah. me plug it. But no, I remember wearing the salmon hoodie on the show once with Van Styles. Yeah. But what? So the happy hour? Do you go? Do you have any input on, on like glasses? Yeah, like you yeah, find yeah, like yeah, dope yeah. glass? Do you yeah, like yeah. find vintage shit maybe too? And yeah, like I have a bring couple different shops out around LA and different places. When we're on tour, it's like, ooh, I really like this fucking mm-hmm. shape and whatever and yeah. we've, or these color lenses and mm-hmm. and that's the fun part is that we're using pretty much the same lenses that like Ray-Ban and all these other companies oh. use mm-hmm. just shows how much money these dudes are making because they can sell right. them for 200 bucks they built their industry to that of course I love them for that but we don't care for that you yeah. know what I mean we're skateboarders and we support people who have you know not that much yeah whether you're a millionaire or not it's like if you go into a store you can get four pairs of these or you can have one pair of those right when you're going on to a trip 
it's kind of rad to be able to go, okay, if I fucking lose a pair, if I break a pair, whatever. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, or just every day have something new to where you don't have to look exactly the same every single, 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 single day. Right, right. And you guys do cool shit too. You got like different color, like you said, different color lenses. And I remember I tried on a purple one. Yeah. I, I personally like would rather have glasses on than off in oh. the daytime because it, yeah. It, yeah. It's whole much. I like the world through some happy. Through some happy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite style right now? Uh, yeah, I'm really into these Riley Hawk hazards. Sounds very like hands on with what you guys are doing. Everything it, we do is hands on. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean we're still small. Mm-hmm. I mean we're actually doing really well. But even if we were Dusty one of the trails. biggest, we'd still want to be part of every single thing that we do. Oh, I wanted to ask you about the the goods, goods, goods brand. Oh, what's, yeah. what's, what's, goods brand or goods? What what do we got here? It's goods MFGCO. No, I'm kidding. Goods, <laughs> goods manufacturer. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh. We're just a comfort company that oh, me cool. and Atiba, and we have a couple really amazing investors. Oh. But, you know, it's just comfortable clothes. Oh. Like we make cool pajamas, robes, all types of random I cool like stuff. that. I like that. What I is like it? Raj, too. put on this robe and the glasses. Yeah. Let's see, let's see what Raj... And yeah. go get a cup of Starbucks. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Could you imagine That's, Raj yeah. going yeah. into Starbucks? Just become the dude. Wearing, wearing the robe and glasses? Yeah. The you, dude he abides. Walks, yeah. He walks to Starbucks all the time. That's what I'm you, saying. Think? Imagine you wearing yeah. this robe and the glasses. He's going to put it on. It's a white striped robe. It's soft. You know. Oh, Dude, everything that we make is with the best of best materials. I love that. Let me here in LA. For, for, yeah. Raj, do you mind if I feel you? No, material? no, it's not. It's not made in LA, but it's That's made in nice. America. Yeah, and, I like uh, that. Okay. And it, well, where's the glasses? The, now? Yeah, we put the glasses <laughs> on too. You no, the, hire no, the white, the white ones. The white ones. Put those white ones on. White, white on white. Yeah, white on white. He's got a white hat, white, yeah. white striped robe, everything, and uh, yeah. white, gla- white framed glasses. With the tag, with the tag on. yeah, and a salmon shirt. I don't know. The salmon just—it's kind of throwing it off a little he's, bit. He's but... living in Flavor Country right okay. now. Okay, okay, like the... Jesus Christ, with this fucking beard, and his villager, and his fucking and whatever's in that cup. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Look at that. See, no, I'm not that, wearing. That pants. is a classy man right there. <laughs> classy fella. Raj, that yeah. Let's let's. <laughs> Please go to Starbucks and, and order a latte. And go to the bar like that, too. Go to go down to Townhouse at night. We can go Tell right me now. he's not the dude right now. Yeah, he's, he's totally, totally yeah. the dude. Yeah. yeah. And and keep those headphones Just on, too, that, when you, like, when you yeah. go out. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. Keep the headphones on when you go out. No, but look at Raj. It's looking great in that robe, man. I know. We got all the old... Yeah. Is that a white Russian? <laughs> yeah. It was. I, I feel like that's really Roger right here. I know. That's actually the, him. This is when the camera's shut off. This is actually what he dresses like. This is like what I know my <laughs> wear. <laughs> it, is, it is. When he right. edits, when he's color correcting yeah. everything. He's, Jesus Christ. Don't, don't take it off, dude. Stay in character. Yeah. Yeah. Stay in character. Do us a favor. All right. Yeah, let's take a sip of your villager. Mm-hmm. There yeah. you go. There. <laughs> Product <laughs> placement. Fully right. selling out here. Product yeah. placement right now, man. You guys are on it. <laughs> we'll send you an invoice after the show. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, so the goods. Uh, you and uh, I'm sorry. Who were you saying? You and it before we had Raj Atiba. get dressed. Yeah, you and Atiba and a couple other investors. Yep. Um, what else what, do you make besides? Robes? I was going to ask. Yeah. What do, What do you got? Go check out the website. Okay. Goods MFG. Can I send you a list of what we want? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we make really good pajamas. Next episode would be fully oh, men and women. Now, do you wear pajamas? Fuck yeah. You do. Yeah. You don't go to sleep in your boxers and oh, just I go to sleep in my boxers. Yeah. Oh, but you, you around, around the house. Yeah. I mean, pajamas. After I'm done skating, do you think I'm just going to wear some fucking tight, dirty? Well, I don't know. Maybe some, day, <laughs> like, some sweatpants <laughs> or something. No, not so. No. I no. mean. If I'm not going to the gym. Will you give me a pair of pajamas? I yeah. want to try this lifestyle out. I've never had pajamas before. Of you want to try the robot? <laughs> no, not after, not after you, Raj. Yeah. No, I don't know what, where your bodies have been. <laughs> Roger looks great right now. Dude, he's the man right here. Yeah. Can I tell you something that for all you fucking listeners out there, man? you got to tune in and, and watch, watch YouTube. <laughs> you got to see Roger right now. Holy he's shit. He's the most luxurious dude ever. Maybe right we'll now. post him on the website or it's something. It's comfy. It's definitely comfy. Yeah. But yeah, check there out go. the website. We make all types of things for men, women, everything. Okay. The only thing uh, is that's exclusive for men is we make briefs. Oh, you do? Yeah. Boxer briefs? Yeah. 
I love boxer Ooh. briefs. Yeah. I'm going to have to send you guys a box. Do you, uh, Raj wears tidy whities. <laughs> I don't wear any underwear. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I wear all the time. Oh, my God. Yeah. I didn't need to know that, yeah. Raj. He got like some short shorts on yeah. and fucking nothing else. Like, hey, no big deal. I, I get Lucas Pugues <laughs> shorts on right now. Boxer briefs, um, robes, comfy shirts, maybe? Do you yep. need yep. comfy shirts? Wait, yeah. You make solid white tees that are oh, nice. best material okay everything is just literally comfortable i like that it's all just as, as so comfortable as it can be it's just something slippers that you, you need to make we're slippers work, we're working on it yeah now. okay as as the company grows yeah as you guys all help out right order well, some stuff right we can uh start <laughs> working slides. on a bunch of other things yeah don't worry yeah we'll, we'll put the website on the uh on the show nice yeah if you guys need a model i think roger's down oh. hey yep. should we'll you do see. no yeah. that's exactly I mean, the truth was when we were starting it it was one of them things where we didn't want to be like everybody else where it's some fucking gorgeous looking blah 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 you know what i mean right. it's just like just no, some no. Fat dude. yeah no that was the thing. <laughs> we wanted to be some, literally some normal Roger, co-host roger's perfect yeah. normal yeah. people is the way that only come on now yeah, everybody no, for sure everybody I, that we fuck yeah. with everybody that's anybody i'm sorry that one of every billion whatever million there's some fucking gorgeous person and you're yeah. like oh yeah he's perfect because everyone looks just like that you yeah, know what i mean right like, right, right. Yeah. roger's the everyday man <laughs> picture me with morning wood Dude, well, a little too little much man. a little much yeah you're ruining the commercial yeah. okay he is the dude yeah he literally yeah he, he probably writes checks at the local safeway for, oh, yeah. his, for his half and half i wish i wish i would have known i would have actually brought um a bunch of oh more it's all good it's all guys. good we always joke about getting boxes and stuff but if you really but do want to I, I mean i would look we, we're still waiting on a glassy box so well, you um, could beat him to gonna, the punch. You're going to get a happy yeah. hour and a oh, good box. Go. Yeah. Probably 10 times faster than a glassy box. I like your style. I, I mean, like if your you style. hear that, Mike Mo? Wait, you hear that? Roger's getting a little attitude in yeah. this robe. Yeah. And <laughs> this, this robe is, is making his, him feel his, real good. His new look is changing him. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. This is just yeah. confidence. What's a price point on something like that? Do you know what a, what a, what a robe like that would cost? Yeah, I think they're only uh, 65 bucks. Oh, that's it? Yeah, everything we do is oh, not... Oh, that's great. Because we, because we actually... My business partner owns the factories. Oh. And whatever, he doesn't great. have to... You know, that's they're perfect. not $400 yeah. for a robe. There's yeah. not... Everything's actually price pointed mm. the right way because... He owns all the fabric. He owns the fucking everything. That's, so that's amazing. Let's I mean, do a collab goods. Oh, hey, goods nine club. That yeah. could be actually a quite a cool collab with goods. Like, can you just get it online yeah, only, just, or but like, do you sell to certain retailers? No, or there's like, certain there's certain stores. Um, I personally don't have the laundry list of them all, but you can find them. There's we're all around the country, oh, just in like, but it's is it skate kinda, shops or no? It's more high end, like boutiques. Yeah, yeah, yeah just okay. random boutique right. st shops and yeah. whatever. I think there's a few skate shops that carry them. Oh, don't if you look up the website, it should tell you where if you're in that city and right. this and that. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll go on the website and check it out, dude. And I want to please. I, I just check want it some, out. maybe a robe and pajamas. That you know, it's very easy. I would love, so I would love that. Yeah, different styles, different patterns. All yeah, there's, there's cool. all yeah. types of different things. Uh, the robes I think just come in a black and a white okay. right now. Dope. And then uh, there's a black there's one like, with stripe too. Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, this year we did. We were uh, Coachella's custom robe for oh. all of their. They put like one in their every tents or yeah, whatever. Yeah, all the artists, oh. vans, and, and the That's RVs epic. and whatever. That's tight. Which was pretty rad. It had like the little uh, cactus on it. And oh, said Coachella this and that. But. You know, you know what you guys should do. Um, you, I mean, I don't know what you, how you guys manufacture it, but you should do like um custom like uh, monograms and stuff. You know, it's endless possibilities. Endless. That one. Yeah. yeah, that'd be awesome. And it's just once again, it just has to do with being comfortable. Yeah, and I love it. I'm I'm a big fan. Yeah. You're so Rod is selling me on this one. I know. I, I wanna, fuck I, right I, now. I, yeah. I, I want to. Um, I need some too. Well, what's going on with Braden now? Filming for another street part right now. Oh wow! Me and uh, Jake Lager have Dope. a couple little ideas in our head just to make okay. it something unique and different. So sick. My goal is to have that done by October. So if that rad. happens, I'll be uh, pretty happy. We're got pretty good amount of footage right now okay. so so you don't know where you, you're going to drop this uh, video or you or you have a plan or um, you have a... i i have a plan yeah uh i'm kind of you just gonna have to wait and see we'll wait and see okay but, uh, yeah yeah but yeah there's there's already some thought behind it and, okay dope and some people who want to take it on okay and that, right. but... well if you ever want to drop it on the nine club you know we get a couple we got hundreds of thousands of views. <laughs> <laughs> Just we're kidding. working on it. Right, right, right. We're doing that. And then, yeah, I'm filming a little section or a couple tricks for the, I think it's the ravenous part 
or something oh. for sex skateboards or sex. oh yeah 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 that's right i wanted to ask you about that you you, you rep sex uh skateboards <laughs> I, I do love sex yes <laughs> <laughs> is it uk brand or something yeah it's our it friend a... louis slater he's oh. uh just one of the cats that grew up with us and okay. whatever he's been part of the family forever he's Dope. one of the original piss drunks and this mm. and that and okay he's just insane tagger slash artist and he just started writing it on everything and then finally was like, I want to make some t-shirts. Right. Started working out. I want to make some skateboards. Worked out like wow. everything. So now it's starting to blow up and he's taking over the UK. He's getting all this fucking publicity everywhere. And it's weird. Like China and Japan are obsessed with oh, I'm it. sure. Fucking. Right. Everybody in France loves it to death. People in the States are still going, holy shit. Do you have a shirt that just says sex is big? Cover your kid's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right. I've seen worse shirts. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. It's, yeah. So are you like pro for him or are you just like, no, no, do they have no, a team no. at all? Or they, I have I mean, no clue. Yeah. I, I know that he <laughs> has either, right. you know, I'm just having I, a board. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not, not even that. I'm just literally, I just enjoy my friend's shit friend, and right. I always like to support and he's doing nothing but good things. Okay. And he's literally helping out so many kids in England right now Rad. that are coming up and he's like, you know, hooking them up with boards and taking care of everybody. And oh. so I'm just there to support just like anybody else. Like sick. You ever thought about starting a board company or anything with your, uh, with Fuck the happy? No, no, no. So that shit yeah. is like a non-profit <laughs> non-profit organization just work right. your ass off for like yeah. nothing Couple unfortunately bucks. for the skate I mean, industry everything else in this world has jumped up in price and a skateboard still stays the same yeah but they charge you now more to buy the wood right. from the company right. if you want to make money like selling skateboards you need to be manufacturing those skateboards yeah well i mean yeah. isn't the what's the best selling board company in the world it's uh i can't remember the name what's that board yeah. company that's out of zoomies it's like a price point deck, but I heard oh. it goes super yeah. superior, I think. Superior I dwindle. There's, oh, it is? It's, uh, it, these are the companies yeah. that, you know, kill it. And exactly that. Where we would get our wood from Mexico, from China, from wherever right. you get your wood, those prices have all raised. Mm -hmm. Five more bucks or whatever. Right. But you can't sell it in a store for 75 That's bucks. what I'm saying. You need to you own a wood shop. Yeah. It's, yeah. If you want to make money. It's kind of a, one of those... Ooh, you know what I mean? It's tough. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, I have mad respect for anybody who's killing it, and but it's generally one of those industries that if you weren't around from a long time ago, mm -hmm. it's really hard to jump in that. Yeah. yeah. I know. I agree. I agree for sure. I yeah. just was wondering, you know, with yeah. the whole... But the sex thing seems to be cool. I mean, you fucking... <laughs> you're hyped on it. Hell yeah. <laughs> so is he based in the UK or is he just out here? No, he's, he's in the UK. Oh, he's he is. Actually, okay. I think in... A little city outside of like Manchester, just big things from a little place. I love that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. rad. Like you said, to support your buddies and uh, just do all the shit. Yeah. Hey, we're all in this together. I know. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a small, small industry, so it is. We uh, got to support the people we love. It's a small pool with a lot of people in it, and everyone's it's, pissing it's in the pool. So Jesus. stretched out yeah. now. Yeah, you know it's what pretty. Mean? It's pretty nasty, but it's not like <laughs> when it comes down Can't to it, it's only a couple companies rope. that are still you know, on fire and doing their thing and whatever. Yeah. When you mentioned X, Y, you know, random companies, not X, Y, Z, because they're an actual company. You, right. And, yeah, but right. I meant like the saying X, Y, Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, when you just mentioned these random companies and it's like, oh, I don't really know them or heard of them, but they could be killing it because, I, I mean, how many fucking kids skateboard and how many millions of kids start skateboarding oh, yeah. every year? Yeah. Yeah. When we were in high school, there was three of us. Right. And we weren't cool. Yeah, now, and you only saw it from one when place. You see, when you see a high school end, it's like every kid has a board, and the dude that has like the hot girl on his arm, he's like holding the skate. Like, dude, they the have like lock, they like, have like lockers now oh, for I their skateboards. That. I seen you know? that Franklin like, High one day, and I was like looking down. I go, "What is that?" And everybody goes, "That's a locker for your skateboard." For a skateboard, yeah. yeah no, I wasn't even allowed to bring my skateboard. Oh no, neither was I. That it was like a, that was a no. weapon. Yeah, <laughs> it was like no, no, no. You can't if you can't fit it in your locker or whatever. Like it was a weapon for us. We weren't allowed to have them. You know, I you look like a different person, Raj. Let me I tell feel you, like a different you person. fucking really got to like you got to adapt this role. You well, know, you're smiling more though. Yeah, exactly. You, you know, you look Seem happier. happier. You, you yeah. really <laughs> do look happier. It could be the Stella and Jameson too. Oh, that's true. <laughs> like I mean, everything together is all adding up to just that. Usually does the trick. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah. Man, I'm jealous. I am. I want a robe. Yeah. yeah, so the robe well, is even got standard. a little hook and there for everything. your uh, hang it in your bathroom. But there's different sizes for all the other, all the right shirts yeah, yeah. and you know, shirts, clothes. Right, 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 right. Oh, oh, party foul all 
over the cables. Caught it though, at least. You right. see that? Just, that, was, that was a good catch. <laughs> if you just would have seen that catch, though, it was pretty good. Yeah. No, no, wait, did he catch it? He he I it, knocked like, it off and caught it. I can't look at you with that outfit on, Raj. Jesus Christ. If I wear goods, can I like do really good shifty flips like you? I mean, oh. I, I would imagine so, yeah. Yeah, dude. Anything that you try on that's close to my outfits definitely <laughs> increases your odds. <laughs> you're, you're <drastically. laughs> right. That's a good trick, though. That, that was the one I like thing. that. You got, you got you. that shit down, man. When, I mean, yeah. When I first heard I about like you. Kick flips. You like kickflips? <laughs> Is that your favorite trick yeah. to do? Yeah, kickflips. Yeah. Oh. When I first heard about you, it was like, it was this buzz in, down in Orange County. County, mm-hmm. But all the the uh, Vegas kids coming out and like Brandon Shafransky is the gnarliest shifty flip and, he, and I was like that was the first thing I saw you do <laughs> so it's always stuck out to me that yeah, you were yeah. like the, the shifty flipper flipper shifty flipper Flip, shifty, <laughs> shifty, flipper. <laughs> shifty <laughs> flipper yeah not many people can do that kickflip shifties no, no it's hard. Yeah. now that we've all talked about it it's gonna be like fucking I'm gonna look on Instagram like fuck it's shift yeah, yeah. Like, yeah so every, you're gonna get every kids, kids so like I can do them too so yeah, I learned this one yeah. 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 or they're gonna glorify yours and they're gonna start posting yeah. yours oh there you go right what's up I mean I glorify Tom Penny's so there's a reason why I learned it but he does his front side you do yours back I mean, yeah, yeah but still. he still went back in the 90s, did a couple that were backside that kind of yeah. just blew my mind. What, yeah. no, what, what's the secret to that? But do you think a about like... A lot of kickflips, <laughs> then, yeah, it's pretty much the same But do you thing. think you're like, oh, I'm going to do a backside flip, but I'm not? Yeah. Or like, is that, how do you, what, what do you think? I just think, think of doing a backside you... flip, and then it's pretty much all front toe. Oh, front toe. Yeah, because your front foot catches it and kind of just, you just brings, sure it, your shoulders it, brings it back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you keep your shoulder... No, but you, no, you, you go back. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I don't know. You know, you just do it. You just do it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did it kind of like, come just like naturally where you kind of just started doing them? It, I, it was literally one day I was at the skate park in Desert Breeze and I tried it off the bump and it, I did it like f- a few of them within a couple of tries. And then this is skateboarding, that 10 stair. Yeah. We went there like the next day and I landed it second try and was like, oh, okay, I think I have this. Trick. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one of those tricks. I think I, think I got it now. It's one of those tricks that just... Work. work yeah was it uh this is skateboarding where you tried down the triple set and then you went back and did it later yeah yeah mm-hmm. like years later because you skated on the yeah, first because side. i skated on that side yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they put that wall up yeah and then uh they yeah so i had to do it on the more difficult side for that trick santa monica triple set yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. i went you, there yesterday and looked at it you got a trick in mind <laughs> i do have a trick in mind oh yeah okay i would call it out but then i don't want to call it out and then not ever do, do it. it yeah okay right I'd rather, you, I'd rather think it but d- yeah but no i definitely you that's, think it's, that's on my list very okay that's like the top of my list is that maybe try that again. last for your part are you one of those do like no. oh, i'm gonna try the big shit or you, i like you to don't... get my ender done first oh or you do. as soon as i can because but how do you know how get... do you know what the ender is though i mean yeah, i mean i, I don't mean, but at least if i get a trick that i think with you could be the ender because and if i think it could be the ender then i'm like cool now you can just have fun in skateboarding yeah, yeah. But, but but with you i mean it's uh, one of these i can't look at raj when he looks at me <laughs> with his outfit and glasses on <laughs> he fully did yeah, this is a but i mean with you i mean like you uh, one of your a crazy manual trick well, could be an ender or I have a, you know i have, I have one more manual left in my oh. thing that I'm like, okay. Oh my god, I want to do this manual more than life itself. Right. And I've been trying it for fucking ever. I've landed oh, one of the trick out, but not the trick in. Dude, have what you ever done works for you? a manual shifty flip out? Oh, that would be a tight that would be one. sick. You that would be, a, but you I need feel to like have a drop. Yeah, in I was gonna have say you need at least a six stair or eight stair yeah. for that one. You could do it on the stage. You need at least a six stair and eight stair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That would be a tight one though. If you could catch that, if the shifty in it, like with the camera. You got to be going fast. To do really that. fast, yeah. probably. Yeah. That would be buttery though. Well, yeah, that would be amazing. There's yeah, a couple. Tight. There's a couple manual pads like with the little six stair after yeah, yeah, it, right? Yeah. You could do something. I mean, there's I think, that Fairfax high one. Try yeah. that trick, dude. That, I think that'd be a fucking sick looking trick, dude. Me too. Wow. Triple set. Lay shove it. I'm gonna do that to warm up. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, to warm Raj up. I'm just trying to get get to get well, it I mean, out I of here. I have a bunch of different tricks that I want to do on it, but that one just seems easy. Yeah. Does it? Late shove it's are like one of them tricks that I learned when I was a kid, and it's just like if you can ollie it, you can late shove it. Yeah, totally. Wow. Front side or backside late shove it? Front side, right? Front side, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That backside one's it's weird. Really wild. Tonight. I think backside. I can easier do them, but they're just. There's good chances of primo and a right. bunch of other random things. I don't know. For me, late shove it's are one of them things where. If you already know you're passing it and you're already f- on your 
Decent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just kind of move your feet a little bit. What about shifty should... flip late shove it? Oh, <laughs> wow. That would be gnarly. Yep, that's you. That would be gnarly. You're gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. Yep, I think you could or do that. Or shifty work. flip late 180. Right. I actually had a dream about a varial flip, like like doing a big spin flip, okay. shifty flip. I always oh. thought that would be a really cool trick. That'd be amazing. Wait, I mean, so big, so... Do like a big spin flip. Do yeah, big, but you're doing a shifty flip. Right. So you so catch it. It's like a very, it's like nine, a burial flip, basically. Yeah, but you go much over. It's a burial flip. Yeah. You just yeah. almost turn and then bring it back. I always thought that'd be really cool. If that would be really like sick. That. You should feel like BA can do that. I got lots of dreams. That'd be bit. Yeah. So does Roger. <laughs> <laughs> He's living it right now, dude. He's living the dream right now. <laughs> He's living the dream right now. Good God. <laughs> this has been a fucking amazing, dude. It's been fun. This has been so, so this, fun. This, this has been fun. This has been great, man. Is there anything else we want to talk about, or should we wrap it up? Yeah. Do you have air conditioner in your house? No, I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know. I know. Kelly, hey, weed maps, yo. They need, yeah. they need an air conditioner yeah. and a banner. Fuck the air conditioning. We just need money. <laughs> <laughs> now, anytime I've ever smoked weed, whatever, I've, I've thrown up. And then when I've taken, uh, was it sativa? Mm. I've passed out. Sativa is the one that brings you up. I guess so, but and no, it makes you hyper, and it's like the one you go to work I, on. I fully. Indica's, it's when you vacuum your whole yeah, house in, on. Yeah. Indica, right? Indica is the one that a, shuts you down. No, I have a heart condition, so like uh, at the time when I took it, I fucking passed out and like. I tell you the story. We'll tell it again. I took a sativa <laughs> cookie with a. Uh, oh, but on, you ate it. That's different. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, see, yeah, that's yeah, different. Yeah. I've right. only yeah. eaten weed. Twice in my life, and both times I ate too much, and I fucking wow was I scared shitless. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but that's it's because, scary, because I'm a stoner. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I didn't know that. I thought I can just fucking eat this much, like a whole fucking cake okay. of brownies right. and whatever. Yeah. Wow, that was crazy. But that was back in the day. That's not CBD. CBD is actually good because it's does nothing to get you high. It just mm-hmm. yeah, for pain. Yeah. Right. But you got high though. You ate. Oh, I, I mean, I took it on uh, Christmas Eve. We we're at the other room. <laughs> okay. And I was like talking with my friend Ian, and like. I'm sitting there like you knew that you took it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I, okay. I fully. I mean, eat you the can cookie. probably right. taste that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Yeah. That, and yeah. like you're like, wait a minute, why does this taste so green? And I was talking to, <laughs> I was talking to my friend and I was like, I'm like, yo, I think it's kicking in right now. He's like, oh, you're feeling it? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I think I'm gonna pass out right now. He goes, you think you're gonna pass out? I'm like. Yeah, I'm gonna pass out, and I just <laughs> boom, I plop my head, like head right into his lap, and he thought I was like fucking with them. Right? I oh, you like passed out? No, like, it was not like, like I'm gonna go sleep for com- seven hours. Right? Yeah, like, no. Just no, it was ca- completely lights out at Christmas Eve in a bar. It was co- completely crowded, just fully head in his lap, and he's like, "What the fuck?" I was out for like 45 seconds, and then like Steve Hernandez was there too. And they like they dragged me to the, the corner of the bar, and they're like I woke up to them going call an ambulance, call no an ambulance, way. and I woke up and like we need to get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> he's instant paranoia kicks in. Yeah, I was like but let's get the fuck out of here right yeah, now. Wow. I mean, were you I, okay? Yeah, what happened after that? Were you? St- I was like completely all- fine after that. You slept it off. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Did you yeah. just give yourself a panic attack? Or? <laughs> no, I just fucking like all. It was just I, too- I felt it kick in. It was like too much, and just like yeah, your it body was just, just lights out, and I just. Well, maybe one day we'll get, we'll get the weed that doesn't make you uh, puke, Raj, and you could smoke some on the show. I just in that outfit. A week yeah. a week after, mm-hmm. uh, it was like New Year's, or whatever. I ate half of a cookie and I went out with Kelly and Kelly yeah. was doing this little fucking thumb thing. I was dying laughing the entire time. <laughs> that's a Raj we want here. That's yeah. Right. Kelly, what was it like? What about you and I get out of here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you were so, I forgot about that. You were so, I don't know. Stop, like, You man. and I get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even stoned and that would have killed yeah, me right there. Good. Like, I forgot wow. about that. I'm going to yeah. use that next time I meet a chick. I was like, losing hey, my you shit and that I get out of here. It's 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 so disgusting that it's funny. I'm it's sorry. Pretty, yeah. it's pretty, I mean, he was born like that. You know? well, it's like, I was what born you, with these. Yeah. Right. Oh, you got a little you what, baby thumbs. Little yeah, baby. Man, I got yeah. little toe thumbs. Yeah. Oh, little toe thumbs. Yeah, that's yeah. right, though. Check this out. Yeah. Maybe, uh, they, I could do whatever could I want. Pick, you could pick Anything. stuff up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they work great. And because they're so small, they don't actually break when I fall. Oh. They just kind of... Yeah. It's really good for me. Toe thumbs. Yep. Hmm, interesting. I never. I just have normal <laughs> appendages. I, <laughs> I just have normal appendages. I don't know. Just, that sucks. I norm, yeah, that I know. Sucks. I know. It's just normal. Yeah. Are nah. those those as big as your toes? I never actually never measured. <laughs> Kind of jealous, you know. Not last week, Kick Kelly got a board. Now Raj gets a robe, and uh, I ain't and got nothing. You, you just know? sit back I just and sit enjoy. back, right? And you're like, well, some glasses. Uh, I enjoy your company. Well, thank, some you, Riley Hawks. thank you, Riley Thank you, bro. Let's so, see, Chris. Let's see, uh, yes, is that good? Ooh, that match. Fantastic. Ooh. Ooh. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, all making me just yeah let's up. get some glasses on here. You got, got any extra ones? Yeah. Pr- oh, there you go, Kelly. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> it is extremely hot. What's Damn, on? dude, you actually fucking think, look normal. Like dude, that these looks lights look awesome in here. Like, dude. You, you look really good in those. Like really normally good, Brayden. All right. Oh, you, <laughs> how come you didn't say the same for me? I must. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, trust me. I don't have to compliment you. You already know that you're fucking good. Uh, That's true. Thank this, you, This This guy, he yeah. needs all the, the... I need all the help you, I can you get. You give him okay. a yeah. button I, to chime himself I know, out. I like, know. That, right. He needs as much help as he can get That's right true. now. You know That's what I mean? true. He is in the corner over there. Yeah. I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling good. You're Thank looking you. good, man. Classy as hell over there. Thank you. Dude, wow. Can I get a rope or something? No, that's Roger style. I'm going to... The uh, Kelly's not even moving his head right now. He's like the Terminator. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, yeah. Do, 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 yeah. Do, do, do. This is really cool. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. We should have done this from the beginning. I know, yeah, I know, right. You look like the guy from uh, the Professional. Oh, the guy yes. the, with the shy, uh, Do we have a beanie? Do we, uh, the, where, where's the, the beanie? smallest no, beanie ever? Yeah. The yeah. The guy, yeah. the <laughs> what was that? Leon. 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 Yeah. Leon. Yeah. Leon and Matilda. Oh, yep. Matilda. Yeah. yeah. Leon and Matilda with the plant. Where's your plant? Yeah, the plant. Yeah. He, oh, he's wanting to die for that plant. Yeah. Well, dude, thanks for everything, man. Thanks for the glasses. Kelly, thanks. Hey, you know, Kelly's I, hyped on his. Look I at that. I feel fucking cool as shit right you now. Right. <laughs> Probably the first time in Kelly's life. It feels cool, you know? First time. Yeah, definitely. Thank you guys for having me. Dude, thank you, dude. You're the fucking man. Braden, thank you, dude. Time, yes, yes. You're amazing, man. And I, I can't wait to there. see. You're the man, dude. I can't wait to see your part and everything. It's gonna be great. Yeah. You know? Um. Yeah, I got this uh, get buck part for should be coming out that. this week. Yeah. Just uh, the skate park oh, the skate... fun stuff. Okay. And then, yeah, hopefully by October. Yeah, the latest, I'd like it to be out by November, but. Dope, dope. And you got some other shit. I want to see that backside uh, shifty flip uh, manual. You know, out of the manual. Oh, I was yeah. Say, yeah. Into it, Jesus. No, 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 no. no. In and that out. would be pretty dope too. Into I mean, a manual. You'd have to do it down in anything kickflip. You could do it on flat ground though. No, you, you know what? I'm like one of those people. Like I'm not like him who has fucking pop for days. I've seen you pop, bro. <laughs> you, have, you have some good pop. You, you have pop, some good dude. pop. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you skated yeah. the stage before, oh, you haven't got, you? Yeah, I've nose manualed it because you don't have to get up into yeah, anything. Right. Like, <laughs> or I've manualed it. I didn't. Ever, I've never kickflip. I've kickflipped onto a table maybe like four times. When I go out skating, like I've only ollie, can only ollie a table, and I've back eighty them, and then I go with like you know my partners like Herman and them skating. Yeah. And I'm like, these motherfuckers take one push, and he can do anything. <laughs> yeah. I can't it's look it, at Kelly either with the glasses. I know, though. and I know that You're he can't cop. do. Right. I look. I, look, I don't even know what I look like, but I f- you fucking look, feel cool, you man. Look like a <laughs> cop. Yeah. Just say license and registration. Oh, you know what? You know what would be fucking cool, dude? Uh, uh, backside flip sh- uh, shit. <laughs> I can't even say the fucking name of the trick. Backside shifty flip. Backside shifty flip. Manual back one eighty out. I think that would look sick. That right? would be cool. That'd be That'd cool. Be That'd be like cool looking trick. Yeah. yeah. Thank you but for dude, the glasses and. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thank you guys. Yeah, again dude, for having Thank me. you, bro. You're Pleasure. amazing, man. Thank you. Hey, you made us all cooler today. Rush. I mean, especially. <laughs> yeah.